Hey, my name is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living. Uh, today I would like to show you uh, what the pearl key touches on a King Super 20 or King Zephyr Special look like underneath. Now, I wouldn't recommend this uh, doing this very often, but on a very clean uh, Zephyr Special or Super 20, you can actually remove these pearl key touches to clean uh, underneath. Lots of green stuff tends to build up around the edges and underneath here. Um, so that's a nice thing to do, and it keeps them looking really nice, like this one. Um, now, the way these are attached is with a screw through the back that is actually threaded into this thick mother-of-pearl piece here, um, which is kind of astonishing workmanship once you really think about it. Mother-of-pearl uh, is extremely hard to work with. It's extremely hard to shape. Uh, it tends to shatter and flake, and to get something that looks like this... Uh, that is not only so smooth and beautiful, but uh, is also threaded, is really incredible. And also the thickness of this mother of pearl is pretty impressive. I actually have a pearl for a King Super 20 tenor that I am looking for right now. It's a pearl roller, and it is 7.3 millimeters in diameter. And apparently you cannot get mother of pearl that is 7.3 millimeters thick anymore because they just don't grow that big anymore. So this is what the pearl looks like and what the underlayment looks like and one really cool thing about this this is the chromatic f sharp as you can see that that's actually curved right so they curve the bottom of that piece so that it fits in there which again is just uh, astonishing workmanship um, and here's a little screw that holds it in if it'll focus um, and if you ever take these apart, right, uh, you'll actually notice that each screw only fits in one place. Um, it appears that the way that they made these was they actually put the pearl on here and then they shaped it all together. And the screw, the end of the screw is actually going to be ground at a little bit of an angle relative to the screw itself. And once you screw this in, it lays perfectly flat and smooth so you don't feel anything under your fingers when you are actuating that key. Um, so when you take these apart and when you put them back together, like I said, pearl will shatter. So you have to be extremely careful that everything is lined up um, and don't apply too much pressure. And this is not something I would recommend doing on a, and the screw should lay pretty much flat like that on the bottom when you're done. Um, and on the top, it should be absolutely seamless. Um, it's not something I would recommend doing to a horn that has been refinished. Typically, they didn't take these off to refinish them um, when you see a relacquer. And they've been buffed and uh, smeared and, and lacquered onto the key. And if you try and undo them, a lot of times they'll start to chip. Um, same thing with a, uh, a horn that has been played an awful lot. Now, I've stayed away from anything that looks remotely scary and I've never chipped one of these but um, I've seen it happen and I've seen the the aftermath but there you go that is what uh, these beautiful pearl key touches uh, look like when you take them apart on a Zephyr Special or King Super 20 All right. Hope that was helpful, useful, informative. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to get in touch. And thanks for watching. And I promise I'm going to upgrade this camera at some point because this is like some sort of bad joke about how bad this is focusing.